Hi, in this video, I'll show you how to create this type of 3D globe using Python and then how to control it with keyboard. And then I'll also show you how to automatically rotate this globe as a GIF animation. So let's start. In our channel, we usually talk about software development with various languages. So make sure you subscribe. Before moving to the coding, please watch how to install Anaconda libraries in Windows using our video for which the link is in the description and also at the end of this video. So without wasting your time, let's start. In VS Code, I already have a folder with a PNG and PY file. Make sure you have installed the Python extension in the VS Code and then you click on this left bottom and then you select the base Conda interpreter. Automatically the settings will be imported. Now I am importing matplotlib module. If it is not there you have to go to the anaconda cloud search for matplotlib and then copy the command. Then come to anaconda prompt and activate the environment. Here it is base. Then install using the copied command. Now I am using the subplots function of matplotlib to mention the figure size. I am taking it as 10,6 and this function will return two variables. One is the figure and then one is the axis. Then I am showing the graph here. Now I am going to anaconda prompt and then I am going inside the project folder activating the environment which is base here and then I am running the py file using the python command and this is what I see. The figure has axis and I don't want that so I am setting the position of axis using 4 variables with a list. Now the axis are little bit moved but I want it completely moved out of the figure. So I am setting the axis variables like this and I get no axis in the figure. Now I am taking the galaxy image which I have already in the already present in the folder then I am reading it using I am read function and then I am setting it on the axis using I am show function. Now you can see the galaxy image on the axis but again I can see the axis uh, positions there so I am setting the axis off. Now I am adding one more figure on top of this galaxy image and I am setting the variables again using the same method with the list. Now you can see that on the galaxy image. Now I am clearing this image and setting this axis to off so that you will not see that white screen but the axis are present on that galaxy image. Now I'll use base map module which creates map projections using matplotlib with all these modules which are already present in anaconda. Making sure that I have base map if it is not there go to anaconda cloud search for it and then copy the command and come to anaconda prompt activate the base and then install it using this command which is copy now i'll import base map into my python code and then i'm going to create object of base map base map object takes projection i'm giving it as ortho then resolution then latitude and longitude values and giving it as 20 and 0 then i'm calling blue marble function of this object then I am running the code and there you see the globe. At this point of time if you find any error related to proj underscore lib key use this code. Now I am initializing two variables which corresponds to latitude and longitudinal values and then I am replacing it when I create the base map object. Now I am writing a function which will map my keyboard events to a function call which calls to a specific function called press. Now I'll define this function press which takes the keyboard event as the input parameter. Inside the function I have referenced those variables and 
with each press of W Z A D I have decreased or increased latitude and longitude then I have created the base map object again and then I have called the draw function of the figure and there I have clicked the button Z a few moments later The globe moved downwards. Now I am pressing A. Two thousand years later. And the globe moves leftwards. In the next video, I'll show you how to convert this globe into an animation. So make sure you subscribe to our channel. And if you really like this video, please leave a like. Thank you for watching.